Oh, hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Well, this video certainly is a interesting one, I do admit. Oh, and before I forget, you guys can feel free to download this video and re-upload it to your channel. This reaction video, I mean. I don't care if you do. I mean, I don't mind if you do. That's fine with me. So, I guess you're probably wondering... What the heck am I, what the heck video am I reacting to this time? Well, it's for a little, a little game called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. It's the announcement trailer for the Nintendo Switch. And so I guess with no further delay, <coughs> uh, let's go check it out. And, uh, that is a yes. Yay. Here we go. Oh, Nintendo Switch. Nice. Wait, is that Metalhead? And is that Raphael? Or is that Michelangelo? And are you kidding me? Is that a Super Nintendo I see? <clears throat> Sorry about all that, you guys. Seriously, is that a Super Nintendo I see? Grab some pizza. Really? Because the teenage. Oh wait, what are they doing? I don't. Well, I kind of know what they're doing, but I kind of also don't know what they're doing. Mutant Ninja Turtles are back. Oh, they're back, huh? What the heck are they... F Wait. Is that... Is that Leatherhead? Their very first radical roguelike adventure. Really? Ro radical adventure. <clears throat> it, wait. Wait a minute. I just realized something. This isn't the first time they've appeared on the Nintendo Switch, is it? If I remember right, Shredder's Revenge and the Calbunga Collection was also on the Nintendo Switch. And, uh... Leonardo... Okay, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. Raphael, Donatello, Donatello Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Okay, so, wait... So in this game, do you go to like different universes or different um dimensions or something? You must travel through reality bending portals. Reality bending portals, I should I I I sh I should have known. To rescue their kidnapped master Splint. <sighs> You're kidding, right? So wait, they gotta go through portals to rescue Master Splinter. Yeah, I can pretty much guess who I can pretty much guess who did that. And I'm beginning to think his name starts with an S, ends with an R, and whose real name is Oroko Saki. I think Shredder did it. Think about it. Ninja Turtles. Who's their main ultimate enemy? Shredder. Who else? With each run, really? The Rat King? The totally bogus Foot Clan. Wait, the Foot Clan are... Wait, wait a minute. Unless, the, unless this version of the Foot Clan are actually humans, then the Foot Clan are robots. Aren't they? Or am I, or am I just remembering that wrong? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, Shredder. Once you give it up, Shredder, you can't beat all four of them. You can't. Your family's doom is at hand. You, your brothers, your pathetic fool of a father. That pathetic old rat. 
he is not going to win, and neither will you for. <laughs> yeah, I know, guys, I know. But think about it, it's Shredder. It all depends on what version of Shredder this is. If I had a guess, I'd say that... If I had a guess which version, I'd say this is based on the 2012 version. If I had to guess, I don't know. The same. What the heck? What are they, in the docks or something? I guess? And shred through the story. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's their lair. Four turtles each have their signature weapons. Yes, that is true. They each have their signature weapons, like... Leonardo has his katana blades, Michelangelo has his nunchucks, Donatello's got his bow staff, and Raphael's got his scythes. Awesome abilities. Yeah. Oh, so they have awesome abilities. Okay, that that's that's cool. I'm okay with that. That's fine. But dude, seriously. What the heck is going on in this trailer? Cause I can't make sense of it. Well, of course it does, because Donatello... Wait. Donatello's bow staff is the longest weapon there is. Second to Leonardo's katana blades. But Wrath has a higher chance of dealing critical damage. Wait, why would Raphael have a, have a, have a better chance of doing critical damage? Wouldn't Leonardo have a, be have a better chance of doing more damage? Because, in fact, his weapons are... Are, bla are katana blades, and they're and they have a longer reach than Raphael's. I don't get it. I don't get that. Really? So you get to, wait. Let me get. Let me under. Let me see if I understand this correctly. So what you're saying basically here in this trailer, you're basically saying you actually get different powers in this game? Huh. Well, that I didn't know. I mean, not that I'm, not that I'm complaining, mind you, but it's just... I always thought the only thing the Ninja Turtles needed was their, was their, was their skills and their weapons. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. To customize your moveset... Oh boy. Devastating combos. Wait a minute. Don't get too attached though. Uh get too attached to what? Don't get too attached to a certain attack or don't get too attached to like to a certain turtle? Is that what you mean, dude? Because these powers reset. Oh, don't get it too attached to a certain power up. Okay, that, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. When the run ends, <laughs> back at your sewer home. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, in order to respawn, do they basically allow you to get yourself in shape or something like that? I guess. Maybe, I don't know. But you can spend in-game currency you earned on your runs on permanent upgrades called really oh man <laughs> yeah, that's that's silly that's just silly yeah that's that's just silly yeah 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 <sighs> oh that's just silly Again, is that Leatherhead? I would think so. I would guess so. It's the only it's the only Ninja Turtle character I know of that's a that's a crocodile or alligator, and and got turned into a mutant. Unless there are other alligators or crocodiles in the, in the in the history of the Ninja Turtles that got mutated, I don't know. 
only one I know of is Leatherhead. So, yeah, maybe maybe you guys know the answer better than I do. Oh man! And of course, we gotta run. In, we gotta run into these to these two. To these two, these two, these two, these two moron, these two idiots. Bebop and Rocksteady. Why? Just why? Why are why are these two in this game? Unless this is ba- wait, I just realized something. Unless this is based on the 1987 Ninja Turtles, then Bebop and Rocksteady shouldn't be in this game at all. Because if I remember right, Bebop and Rocksteady weren't in the original comics. They weren't in the 2003 series. They were in the They were not in the 2007 movie. Unless this is based on a nin- on a version of the Ninja Turtles that I don't know about. I have no clue. Joy exploring iconic really? Solo or... Wait. Is... Wait a minute. Is Bebop holding in his hands what I think... What I think he is? Is that what I think it is? It is. Son of a gun. A chainsaw? Why would Bebop be holding a chainsaw in his hands? Shouldn't he be holding like, I don't know, like a, like a, like a, like something else? I don't know. They got me, you got me people. Wait a minute. Is that? No. No, it can't be. That can't be. That can't be it. Is that a... Is that a mouse? A mega... A giant mouser? Wait, is Baxter Stockman in this game too? That thought just hit me. Mousers... Are Baxter Stockman's little little trademark. Bebop and Rocksteady, if I remember right, were mutated from a, from a rhino and a warthog, but they were human. I think. Whatever. What. Okay, so this is one of those games where it's ba- where you can basically do couch co-op or let me guess online multiplayer. Uh, Your team of turtles can drop in and out. So let me guess, it's drop in and out whenever you want, or if you have to go do something else. Uh, of course it is. Uh, of course it is. Uh, of course it is. Why am I not surprised to find out at all? This game is basically drop in, drop out, whatever you want. Holy crap. Whenever they want, making for a no crash play set. Wait. A no crash play set? It's like what, a no pressure? So like, are so like are they basically saying that you can you can basically you can basically play co op with people sitting on a couch or pay, or or people who are very far away from you? Um. Yeah. So I guess really I don't know what I don't know more know more what to say about that. Really. Get ready to fight the foot. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Splintered Fate. 
available July 2020, available July 2024 on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, yes. So, yeah. So, what you guys think? What you got? What do you guys think of that? Would that be something you might, you guys might want to, you know, pick up and try for yourselves? Yeah, because if you ask me, that looks, it looks okay. I'll give it that. What would I give the trailer alone? I'd give it a, I'd say, let's see, a seven for effort. Eight for presentation, and let's see, a three for, a three for, like, um, for just how confusing it, how kind of confusing it was. Yeah, so, if you guys did enjoy this, and I really hope you did, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you did, and, you know, if you did, um, Feel free to drop a like on the video. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done this already. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. And guys. Guys. Till next time. Later, Fem Squad.